they took this video down. I had to make some edits to re-upload it. If you already watched this video, uh, could you please watch it again or finish watching it? This is one of the most important things going on in our country right now, and you watching it will help push it out to more people. Thank you. Now I'm gonna show you this insane video where Speaker Mike Johnson says what nobody else in our government has the guts to say. I mean, this is it. This is exactly what will destroy the United States of America. That's it, folks. That's what's going on. That's the game. Hey, real quick, you can check out my Christian apparel brand, my favorite Bibles, commentaries, books, all linked in the description below. Howdy, y'all. I'm Brylan. Now, it's no secret that there is a concerted effort to overthrow our country from within. And one of the ways that's happening is through an all-out invasion. And today I'm going to show you uh, several videos that show you how this current administration is absolutely obliterating our Constitution to try and create a one-party state. But I'm also going to show you the fight against that tyranny. And then we're going to look at how the Supreme Court just made a ruling that single-handedly exposes their hatred for our country. Now, if you remember, it was just a couple weeks ago that Biden says that there's no crisis at the border. There is nothing to worry about, nothing to see here, and we're all just supposed to play stupid. And yes, sir! And then it was a few days later that Biden said, well, the, the crisis at the border is actually Congress's fault, not mine. I have nothing to do with it. As the president of the United States, I don't do anything. I mean, which in, in Biden's case, yeah, it's kind of true. But what has been done under Biden's presidency has been absolutely devastating to the American people, to the everyday people. And that's the point, is that they want to destroy the middle class, demoralize you and me, so that with the invasion that's happening to our country right, right now, we'll have more things, more pressing things that are destroying us financially, spiritually, emotionally, morally, all these things crushing us so that we don't either notice the invasion or don't care. And then there's Mayorkas, the, the leader of Homeland Security. He said, and this is, keep in mind, this is the lowest number they felt comfortable lying about, that over 85% of migrants being released into the U.S., so you could probably, I don't know, throw another 10% on there. It's 95 to 99% of all illegals being released. Real quick, would you mind hitting that thumbs up button? You know when you like this video, it'll get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread the truth. And then Mayorkas goes on to say this. It is my testimony that the border is secure and we are working every day, day and night. Yes, sir! You know, this would be laughable if there weren't so many people that fall for this type of charade, hook, line, and sinker, these politicians, these bloated lies from the government that tell you what's actually happening, we're going to say the opposite and you're going to fall for it. And the sad part is, is that too many people fall for it. And they say, oh, okay, I won't believe what I just saw. I'll believe what you just said. Well, let's look at a little taste of what's actually happening at our border and who's coming into our country. And then we're gonna look at how the Supreme Court ruled in such a way to expedite the process of the deterioration of our country. I wondered how all of these migrants knew about this particular entryway into California. The answer was in their hands. Oh, you learned on TikTok. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> TikTok, the post we found, had step-by-step -step instructions for hiring smugglers and detailed directions to that hole we visited. We were struck by just how orderly and routine it all seemed. Okay, uh, the irony. Um, let's see here. So they're saying that they were surprised. They're struck by just how cordial and orderly these people crossing our border illegally are. This is all done so politely and so well. How, how could you not love the invasion? As long as they're nice about it, I mean, what's the big deal? But you see that this is literally what's being shown on TikTok. 
Uh, you, you get on TikTok and you can learn how to cross the border illegally. And of course, nothing's being done there. But, you know, our government is taking action on suppressing, I don't know, how to heal a cold and flu naturally, as opposed to being indoctrinated by the pharmaceutical. Now, I'm going to show you a few more stunning, disturbing videos of who's actually crossing our border. Hey, by the way, you are smart enough to know who I am, but you are really not smart enough to know who I am. But soon you're gonna know who I am. So you're too dumb to know who I am. Soon you're going to know who I am. Soon. It's believed that this man was actually arrested on terror charges before and was recently released and has now crossed into America. I want you to see what happened when a handful of illegals decided to beat up cops. They were all released without bail, none of that. They were just completely released, no harm, no foul, because it's just crime, and crime shouldn't be a crime anymore. Crime should be fun and legal. When they were released without bail and uh, allowed to go freely into the streets, into our country, this is how they reacted. Just into Fox News now, NYPD making two more arrests, illegal immigrants and that attack on officers. Those suspects also allegedly stole an officer's cell phone. Well, that'll help them track you down. So a fifth illegal immigrant accused of attacking two New York City police officers over the weekend showed no remorse or regret. He was seen, as you can see, giving his two middle fingers to the cameras moments after being released without so this is only one instance of this. There were others that were released. A couple other guys that were released that were flipping off the cameras as well. And they're literally just holding their fingers up, sticking their tongues out. And it's funny because these mainstream media people with their cameras in their face are just, they're baffled by what these guys are doing. And they're the ones enabling this type of atrocity. And I just want to remind you that while we're letting out terror suspects, and illegals that beat up cops are getting out free within 24 hours, just completely set free. No bail, no nothing. You're free to go. I don't know if you know this man or not. Uh, this is a man named Michael Cassidy. And he is the one that, uh, do you remember that satanic display? The statue with the candles that they put up in the Iowa State Capitol? All the while they're banning the Ten Commandments and the Bible, anything Christian. Ill, yucky, get away, bad. And then... They allow satanic displays like this to be put up in the Capitol. Well, this man, he went in and he tackled that statue. It basically ruined the little display there. Well, he is now getting charged with a hate crime, a felony. Now, I don't care about what you think about what this guy did to that satanic display or not. To send illegals completely out free after beating two cops and sending them away with no charges, with no bail, not nothing. You're just, you're just free to go. And then charging a guy with a hate crime for tackling a satanic display in the Iowa Capitol. Do you, are, are, do, are we gonna, are we just gonna keep pretending? Do we just keep pretending now that any of this is supposed to make sense or that it's legit at all whatsoever? Look at this, 150. Democrats voted against a bill that would deport those who are in our country illegally if they're found driving drunk. If they get caught driving under the influence, they would be deported. Now, I want you to see this. The Texas started putting up razor wire on the border, building their own little makeshift fence, if you will, to try to stop the crossings. I think Abbott made the right call here, although I think it took far too long to happen. This should have happened a long time ago. However, it's happening now. And the Supreme Court just ruled that B the Biden administration can remove the razor wire on the U.S.-Mexico border in a five to four vote. So a majority of the Supreme Court thinks that Texas taking charge and taking it into their own hands of trying to protect our country from this invasion, uh, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. They must obey and submit to the to Biden's regime to say that our country must 
be invaded at all costs to the point where you are not allowed to protect yourselves anymore. In fact, that sounds eerily similar to the fight against our Second Amendment. Well, Governor Abbott vowed to expand the razor wire fence despite the Supreme Court order allowing feds to rip it down. Good for you, Abbott. Continue to stand strong. And there's actually many other states that are backing Texas. And I think they absolutely 100% should. But of course, you can see the agenda here. Biden to prioritize. With everything going on, Biden's going to prioritize legal status for millions of immigrants. Because that's what matters. The reason why he's going to prioritize this is because of this. Now I'm going to show you this insane video where Speaker Mike Johnson says what nobody else in our government has the guts to say. He calls it what it is. I mean, this is it. This is exactly what will destroy the United States of America. In 2023, cities in Vermont and Maryland already allow this and similar measures are under consideration in Illinois, Maine, and, and uh, Massachusetts right now. Is the gentleman with you? Yes. Uh, I believe those are um, considerations of allowing votes in municipal elections only. Right, but, but th th thank you. That's the point. <laughs> Everybody wants to know at home, why would they allow this? Guys, they're allowing it because they're going to turn them into voters. They yep. already are doing 100%. this in New York City, largest city in America, and this is the plan of our friends on this side to turn all the illegals into voters. That's it, folks. That's what's going on. That's the game. That's why the border's open. That's why they've dropped it. Look, I, I respect Ms. Lofgren here? and all her work in this arena. Yes, I'll, I'll yield, Mr. Chairman. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. As a New Yorker, I would love to think that New York is the entire country, but it is not. <laughs> it is not. And consideration is being given to uh, uh, permitting uh, non-citizens to vote in New York. And I Disgusting. believe in, uh, in uh, the capital city of Vermont. I forget which that is. Uh, but it, as, lo as much as I'd like to believe it, New York and Vermont are not the entire country. Mr. Chairman, that's the whole point. It, this is what's going on, folks, at home. If you're trying to figure this out, if you're scratching your heads, you're seeing the video, you see droves of people, 2.4 million people coming over the border illegally, the president allowing, the Democrats in charge of Congress are allowing it. The deal is they're going to turn them into voters. You just heard it. They don't have any problem with that. They celebrate it. Here's the deal. We have a problem with it. The Constitution has a problem with it. American elections should be decided by American citizens. That's it. That's what, that's what this is about. That's why we're jumping up and down and screaming, my friends on the video who are commenting about this. That's why we're so upset, because our constituents are, 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 are frightened that we are losing our country. We're losing our security. We're losing our sovereignty, because we're going to allow people from 160 different countries around the world to come in here and decide our elections. That's it. Here it is on record. You all heard it. I'm out of time. I yield back. He's exactly right. And we've talked about this before. The whole point, the border is allowed to be wide open, completely wide open. And remember, we talked about Mayorkas and Biden trying to downplay it, saying there is no crisis. Well, to them, they genuinely mean there is no crisis because it's all going just as planned. So there's no crisis for them. However, when it comes to the everyday American people, when it comes to our constitution, it absolutely 100% is a crisis and it's destroying our country. And the whole point is that they're wanting to allow as many people into our country as possible so that they can create a one-party system, a one-party state, basically, essentially, turn them into voters and have the Democrats go on now until forever in complete and utter control. And you, as a legitimate American citizen, having zero say, no matter how you feel about any of this, you lose all say. And remember, the government's supposed to work for the people. However, we have absolutely lost that notion, haven't we? The government treats us as if we are the gulag and their job is to punish us and destroy us for the criminals we are for believing in freedom in our constitutional rights and bill of rights. I, I want you to keep this in mind. This is 1 Timothy chapter 2. Don't miss this. This is very important and it shows that there is hope because check out what Paul says, therefore, I exhort first of all that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, 
for kings and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. Scripture commands us to continue to pray for all, but also for kings, presidents, congressmen, anybody who's in a position of authority. Believe it or not, we are still supposed to pray for them no matter how morally corrupt, no matter how evil they are. You know, there's power in prayer. And I want you to notice this word right here, supplication. The actual root of this word in the Greek is to pray due to a lack of something or being deprived of something. We are definitely lacking morality today. We're lacking any type of reverence for God. We are in such a moral decay in our society that we absolutely should be giving our supplications and prayers to asking God to give us the ability to stand firm in the truth and it be contagious and that the truth continue to spread, the truth of his word spread across our nation and create a revival, create a restoration of truth and that God would bless our country, bless those who are in leadership. God is sovereign and completely in control, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't be aware of what's going on and that we, we shouldn't pray that the evil that's going on all around us be subdued. We absolutely need to. So would you join me in prayer for this country, for our leaders? Yes, for our president, that they would come to know the truth of the gospel, turn away from their wicked ways, and be used by God for our good instead of wrath due to our disobedience. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, join this community. I would love to hear from you regularly. And please hit that thumbs up button, you know, when you like this video to get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread the truth. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.